They arrive to queue at the polling booths early. They're hoping by casting their votes, there'll be an end to the political upheaval that saw the collapse of their first coalition government last year. We've been a struggling country for quite a while. And hopefully, whoever takes over government will implement policies that will change the life of a man down on the cross. 75% of the population lives in rural, often remote areas of the country, known as Africa's mountain kingdom. They're the ones who suffer the most. We don't have running water. We have no electricity. We draw water from open wells which are contaminated. We want the next government to bring all these services here to us. All the opposition leaders, including the incumbent prime minister, are promising to help them. Their standard of living can definitely raise from the, what's happening to them today to, to, to a higher level. Mm -hmm. At least I can guarantee that at the end of my five years, if I get it now, everybody will have three meals a day. The UN has identified Lesotho as one of the least developed nations in the world. One in every 32 women dies during pregnancy or childbirth, and one in every nine children won't make it to their fifth birthday. And almost a quarter of the population suffers from HIV, the third highest levels in the world. Another major problem is the opposing political loyalties of the police and the military. It was that rivalry that was partly behind the alleged attempted coup last year. But the army stayed in its barracks during the election to avoid fears of violence. And independent observers say the polls ran better than expected. The security concerns that uh, were there at the beginning uh, have not, uh, you know, have all been taken care of. We hope that uh, all the political parties and candidates will accept the outcome of the elections as they have promised. And um, we then, I think, uh, this country has to go through the post election process that we hope will be managed uh, properly and efficiently. These voters say they want a government that can finally get past its political spats and concentrate on the people's needs. They say they want a government that can provide the stability that's been missing from the country for so long. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera, on the outskirts of Masiru, the Sutu.